What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is Mark at Auto Peak Detailing. Today we're going to be going through Walmart to see what's good, what's bad for products, for detailing products, because a lot of people ask me, where do I go to get some, some good stuff to work on my own car? So we're going to go through here real quick and tell you what's good, what's bad. These wood wicks are really good. I just bought some of those. They smell really nice, not super strong. We've got all the Meguiar stuff is pretty safe. I'm not a big fan of those wipes, so I wouldn't recommend using the wipes. Get something like the Supreme Shine or Natural Shine. Armor All, you can go ahead and just throw right in the trash. Bad news. Stay away from any Armor All product, in my opinion. So, you've got the Turtle Wax. Good products. Good uh, carpet clean right there with Oxy in it. We've got a nice leather cleaner. Uh, VLR, that's for your trim and everything. Uh, the Jay Leno line is actually not bad. For 10 bucks, you can get some other products that are probably better for each bottle. Um, when it comes to glass, the wipes are no good, in my opinion. Uh, you got the invisible glass cleaners, really good stuff. And these are really helpful when you're trying to get your windshield in areas that are tight. So I use that on occasion to get down below. We've got some buckets for your... These buckets are very thin, they'll probably crack. I might buy something like an actual five gallon bucket instead of that. Chemical guys, most of the stuff's not that great, I've tried it out. Uh, the one in the blue bottle there is good for, you know, your, your interior screens for your uh, infotainment. Stay away from chamois, they're just going to rub dirt in there. Um, these are nice for your rig if you've got like a big truck and you don't really care about swirls these are pretty nice quality uh, for you know for the cheap price stay away from these California dusters these gray ones there on the left are good for removing bugs on the front of your end uh, front end of your car excuse me and then there's a lot of products in here that I'm not super excited about these microfibers are okay at best they'll do the job but there's definitely some nicer ones out there that you can get on Amazon for, you know, about the same price. Uh, we've got some of this black magic stuff. A lot of this really slimy stuff you're going to want to stay away from when it comes to tire shine. You're just going to sling it onto the car. You're going to sling it onto other cars, and it's just bad news. This wash and wax, very good stuff. I like that. Meguiar's is always safe when it comes to those... Uh, those quick detailers. Waterless wash and wax is one of my favorite. You can apply that in 80, 90 degree weather, direct sunlight, no problem. Ultimate compound, great compound for if you guys are just getting into buffing and you want to shine your car up and take some of that oxidization off the car. Uh, convertible top cleaner. I haven't used this yet, but I will try it and let you guys know how it works out because it's nice to have a convertible top cleaner. Uh, we've got this Meguiar's ceramic stuff. I'm I'm not a huge fan of that stuff. I'd probably steer clear of that. Uh, clay kit's really nice. Comes with, I think, three bars here. And you're going to need that to de decontaminate your vehicle before you polish. Uh, you got some quick detailers really good for using that clay. It's a good lubricant. Uh, or just a quick detailer. It's, it's a pretty good one for, from uh, Mother's. Uh, we've got some soap brands here. The Armor All, I'd stay away from that. Any of this Armor All stuff, big, big no for me. So I had to chase somebody away from that section. They were about to grab some of this Armor All. I said, you don't, you don't want that. Uh, we've got Black Magic. We've got some other brands here for wash. Uh, this will be a good one to start. The nice little starter kit would be a good one. Turtle Wax is making some really good products. This stuff I love, you can use it for three different things. You can use it for moderate, aggressive, or extreme clean. So for wheels, you can use it for washing the outside of the vehicle, decontaminating the vehicle. It works really well. I mainly use it for wheels to get wheels uh, pretty clean, get the brake dust off of it, nice, nice wash. Uh, we've got headlight restoration kits, turtle wax. Those are pretty decent, uh, not bad. Then we're moving on to some metal polish. This cone is really cool if you're trying to polish your exhaust tips. We've got Turtle Wax. I, I have tried this other brand here in the uh, white bottle there, and it works okay. I wouldn't uh, highly recommend it. I've got a trim. I have not tried this, so I can't speak for that. This Ultimate Black is good stuff. 
I would recommend using that. You got another back to black. Those ones are going to bring your, your trim back to a black color. And now it's not going to last forever, but it'll last a little bit. Got some buffers. I'd steer clear of those. You're better off buying something online. Those polishers are no good and not going to last you very long. We've got some other Jay Leno products here, which I have not tried all of these. I have tried the wheel cleaner, and the wheel cleaner is great stuff. So I'd highly recommend the wheel cleaner. It'll turn purple when it's grabbing the, you know, the metals and particulates and it'll pull it down. So um, I plan on making some videos just to see how those things do, those other products from Jay Leno. But all in all, they're pretty good products. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'll be making more videos like this to tell you guys where you can get some decent products.